Hi, Dave Snyder here. It's July the 17th, 2012. Okay, Planet Xers. I'm trying to reach out to you here. I'm trying to show you something. So, trying to show you something real. I'm not saying Planet X is not real, but if you ask me, this is, this is you know, Nibiru or whatever you want to call it, Planet X. I think this is what the moon is, Planet X. But here, anyways, what I was doing earlier, I was looking around at the weather. I was doing something over here with North America in the ocean because it used to be it used to be right along the Hawaiian island chain that's why this is a Hawaii, uh, an island chain this is this coastline broke away from this area it was pushed away from you can see the trail moves across okay well, anyways let me just prove my point with weather patterns here okay so i saw i looked i was working on that and i turned on the weather and i saw this right here i could see this this shape right here this is the center of mare oriental i i, I can see it in the clouds it, earlier it was a little bit more defined i made a video about it and i'll put that post that video where it shows it fit you know both the now and and three hours ago okay so you'll be able to see okay so what I did is I just snapped up Mare Oriental right up there and I barely I, it took me 30 seconds to adjust it to where it fit I had it fit perfect and I haven't moved it I won't move it it's still in the same place I'm not gonna move it here you go this is it okay so when we look at this picture we can see earlier it was a little more defined these clouds were right in the lines a little bit better okay you can still see uh, weather here. Hold on a second. Weather. Look at that. Okay, and you can still see, you can see there is a channel up here. Look, if I, you got to have a good screen to see it, but you can see there. And up here, you see the same thing. This curve it was tighter into the black earlier, but you still see the line that comes around. And watch it. Goes, there is a line right there. Look, comes around like this. And then let's see down here. We got this. This is really good. Check this area out. Look at that round crater there. Look at the edges. Look at the clouds. Look at the clouds. Look how it fits right in the lines. Here, back it off a little bit so you can see. Watch. And I'll show you the other video too. It was, it's been like, it, 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 look, if there's weather here, any any time there's weather here, I, I'll leave this picture in place. Any, anytime there is weather here, which is always, there's always some kind of clouds here, right? I'll, anytime I check it, it don't matter what, when. It don't matter when. As long as there's weather in the sky, it will fit this crater right here. Anytime, any day, for a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. It will still fit in the lines just the way it does today. That's my point with the weather patterns. That's how I know that this crater hit right here. Okay, the cloud, the weather patterns stay in that location, and it happens all over it with all of them. Watch, I'll show you how it works with the rest. Works with all of them. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of weather going on here today, but it's enough. It's plenty. Here you go. Here's Tycho over here. Oh, I wanted to show you. Oh, I got to show you Tycho over there first. Okay, what I I want another thing I wanted to show was uh, that's why I had these two together was this one and then the Tycho one I've had in place for a couple weeks the Tycho one I've had in place here for you know a little while okay so there's the Tycho one in, in, in place let's check the weather with that and then we'll get to the other point I was going to make Look. okay you can see see how see this right here it fills in that round area right there that's not coincidence you can see there is a line that comes across you can see there is a line look look right here there's a, a line and you can see how it fills all look, all this gets filled in by the clouds Look at this. You see what I'm saying? Look at look down here. This is there's no way this is look at any like I said, any day next year, any time I come back to this crater, this overlay on the earth, the weather will fit the same. If there's weather there, it will always fit in the lines like you see right here. And there's there's overlapping impacts. So some of them may you can you'll still see the line there but on the moon, but it, it's from there'd be overlapping impacts. That's what I want to show you right now. Okay, without the weather. So this is set in place by the Hawaiian Islands, this one here. Just the Hawaiian Island chain it runs parallel with this. So you can see that I'm in the right spot with it. And it, this is what shapes, the, what creates that, that angle of the Hawaiian Islands and, you know, North America, as I mentioned earlier. But this is what creates it. You, now we know. Look, look at the weather. Look at the weather. Look at the weather. It fits all in. Look at this right here. Look at that. Kiss my ass. I mean, it fits in there. I don't care. It does. It fits in there, and it's not a trick. I ain't tricking nobody. This is live streaming weather, and it's 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 incredible. It is absolutely incredible. It is so awesome. Okay, so here you go. Oh, I wanted to show you this. 
Okay, so take away the weather and show you this crater over the top, the repeat. Now, now we'll be able to see this shape of Mare Oriental in Tycho. You'll be able to see where it comes down here. You'll be able to see some of the other, just faintly, because they don't give you very good clues. But here you go. See the see the V. Watch the V. Here, I don't know. Back away from your screen a little bit. Probably help. Look at that. Look at the look at the V stamp right there. Look at this right here. Comes down. It's there. Look at the rest of it. It's there too. All this. Look. It's a repeat. You see the edge right here. This edge comes around. Then you see where you can almost see. You can see that's pretty much where Tycho hits right there. One of those spots. Look at it. It's a, it's a double. It's a stamp. It, it is a definitely. Definitely. All the craters are shaped like Mare Oriental because Mare Oriental used to hit the Earth often. I'm not, I'm not saying often, but it's it hit more times than any other crater on the moon. I'd say. Because it, it's, it leaves its print everywhere on Earth. It's all over the place, everywhere. This is a new one I just got today, this one in the ocean with, with the weather patterns. And you see it fits the, look, these are the same weather patterns I'm using on the, both these overlays. This one here is the same weather. I'm using the same overlays. I'm not picking different ones to, to try to fool you here. Here's the weather. Okay, there, and you see how it fits there, same thing. And then Tycho is the same thing. See, in the same place. So there you go. I mean, it fits both of them, both. And then, uh, let me see, if I bring up the other one, which is an older one, um, where's that one at? Up here. And Jackson, Jackson too, and all, and Jackson, Jackson will go there too. But it's I mean, the, one, the only picture I got of Jackson. It's not that good. Pretty, pretty bad actually. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, now you see the, uh, following the lines there too. Look, look, right here. Look at how you can see that. Totally see that curve. It it stops at the line. Look at it. It stops at the line. Look, it stops at that line. And then you got this this channel. There's this channel that comes through here. Watch. This, this isn't as defined as the other ones, but it, it definitely is an impact there. It, it definitely happened because you can see it, and we'll, it fits with Tycho too. <clears throat> I mean, this this one. Look at it, look at this. Look right here. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. Oh my God, that's got to just be brought in. It's actually I'm not going to move it because I know this one right here is perfect. I already know this one is perfectly set in place. Sometimes the weather does come off to the side a little bit of the, of the lines. Just some. I mean, certain areas does do that but it's look at that, it's the same shape you cannot deny that that is the same thing that's not coincidence so you think that's I'm setting it up to fit like that you've got to be out of your mind I wouldn't even waste my time to take I wouldn't take my time on something like that because it would be just phony wouldn't do it why would I want to waste time on something that would be phony I mean this stuff is conf it confirms it it confirms it nobody nobody knows that I'm gonna take this picture and put it on the earth and see it, it's going to fit the weather patterns. Nobody could know that. Nobody would know that, that that would, unless, I mean, I guess somebody could play some kind of hoax like that, but that would be really bad. Could be, the only, could be NASA, who knows. But this is Planet X, I'm telling you right now. This, look at the, it's bigger than they say. Look at the size of that. That's 2,000 miles across right there. That's the size they tell us the moon is. Okay, and, that, and, you can, and you've seen it just a minute ago where I showed you. The weather pattern's fitting perfectly, right? Which one, which one was it? New Hawaiian Islands. Where's that? Down here. Oh, Copernicus. Let's just check all the other ones, too, while we're at it. I don't want to bore you on the same subject here. Oh, Copernicus. Let's see what Copernicus does today. Oh, yeah, for sure. Look at the round... It's weird. It is, it is totally weird how it fits all the patterns of the co of the craters. Still, I mean, and even even if it's been hit by three different air craters on the same landmass, you will see that they all fit because they hit the same spot. They hit the same spot. Mare Oriental hit everything first. Believe me, Mare Oriental must have hit everything first, because the side that faces us now is the side that hit us recently. 
that's what it looks it looks to me because it still faces us. That's it's magnetic. It has to do, has to do with magnetism. It's why the moon faces us the same way all the time. It's obviously magnetic. It's not gravity that holds it facing us the same way. It's got to be magnetism. It's got to be polarity, polarity. You know, like <clears throat> opposites opposite opposite poles on a, a magnets attract. Okay, when they're well when they're the same poles, they push away, and that's obviously what the moon's been doing for some time. But when the poles flip on the earth. Okay, but it's held right there in that spot. It's held facing us that way from magnetism. Got to believe that. That's a common sense thing. It's really co it's really common sense. You know how magnets work. You can take two magnets. That's initially, but that's what the, I mean, essentially that's what they are. They're just two big magnets in the sky. Right, cl the, right close to us. It's close to us. It, it, the, the moon goes through the tail of our magnetic field. And when it's full, the sun is charging it, it electrifying basically that the moon they say that's what they say if you, I don't it's hard to believe what they say but anyways <clears throat> what I'm saying here is so real you just don't it's just so real it's hard to get people to understand how real it is it really is I can't it's, I have a hard time understanding how this didn't how this is not already out and it's funny today I was watching them I, I looked up Nibiru on on Wikipedia and they have like six definitions for it or whatever, six things that it means or it's used for. And the last one, is, it says sailor. it's a Sailor Moon uh, musical about with the Nibiru. And, uh, he's like the dark master or something, master of the dark. Or, I don't know. I never watched Sailor Moon in my life, okay? I don't have no idea. But I watched that musical, and I listened, it had the words down there in English, and I was reading that. And what they were saying in there and, and, the, act, and the roles that the people were playing, it, it, you can see. They were talking about it. There was one person that was dressed in silver, like the moon would be silver. It was they, it was one of the characters was dressed in silver, and she has this pulse. She says she has this pulse to destroy humanity, to destroy, destroy, and destroy humanity. She says and and basically destroy, and it's silver like the moon. And it's it, I don't know. It was, I, it's there's something to that. That's that there's definitely something to that. It's kind of a goofy uh, thing to. You know, mentioned, but still, it, it, I look at all, I look at everything that I can when it comes to that kind of stuff. And I, so Nibiru was a character in there. He was, in, in Sirius was a character in there. And, uh, and, the, and of course, you got Sailor Moon, right? Sailor Mars, Sailor whatever. I just, I, I just learned all that today. So I, I don't know. Hold on, I think someone's knocking on the door. <clears throat> 